We're here in Florida, yes. And it's quite warm actually, uh, coming from the mountains. But today, well, we're, it's the beginning of our Florida trip. And today, well, it's the first day. I believe we're gonna be heading towards St. Augustine. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do this. It. To the welcome center and get our orange juice. Yes, they give away free orange juice and they also have a lot of information. I can't believe it. Thank you. It looks like from the same family. Well, I see that Mr. Spaceman is practicing being safe. You wouldn't think you, he would have to with that space suit on, right? I think space is. The bubble would cover the mask. Well, space is more dangerous than, well, Mr. McNasty's. Well, be safe, my friend. Safe. Getting this since I was a little kid. Of course, they're still little kids' size cups. <laughs> but you can see it's got the, uh, you know, the Florida logo on this there. This is amazing. This is. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Down. Shot glass of sunny goodness. <laughs> So our goal is to be here for about a week, maybe a little longer, a little less. Uh, we don't really have a plan. We do have a hotel tonight. Uh, we'll show you that later. Uh, our first stop here in Florida is St. Augustine. Dawn's super excited. Of course, St. Augustine being the, well, oldest city or town in, well, the United States. So we're going to check that out. Hopefully not get hit by any cars so we can enjoy this trip right? right when you're a vlogger you should always watch when you walk out on the road um, every now and then I don't always fully look but we're on the road we do and we got old yeller old yeller has been doing good on the trip it's all packed full of dawn stuff dawn and takes yours. dawn takes a lot of things that she probably don't need right dawn hey I need things you need things St. Augustine, Florida, the oldest, well, town here in the United States. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. And these gates here are extremely old, built back in well, the early 1700s. And over there is the the fort. What was the name of that fort, Dawn? Fort Wayne. Fort Wayne. <laughs> over there is Castile San Marco. That is the fort that will protect this area. An old Spanish fort. This gate opened in 1739 and provided the only access through the line of defense on the north side of the Spanish St. Augustine. So downtown St. Augustine has got some really good eateries, uh, great shopping, uh, unique gifts. And we're going to show you some of that, and there's the, the gates that we just walked through. Well, here's a place for Dawn. You know, all kinds of cool hats here, huh? This one here is very unique. Wow, wow, that price is really unique too, $30. Uh, but it's unique. What do you got there? Okay, I... <laughs> Florida hat, huh? You can definitely tell we are near the beach. Usually, you'll see seashells. You always got these little coconut guys too. Dawn, there's a guy over there. There's a guy over there with snakes. 
Dawn, you want to go see the guy with the snake? Not really. I'm okay. No. The Bowl and Crown Public House. That looks like a fun, fun place to eat too. Check out this not so crabby blue crab. <laughs> that is really cool. Oh, he's a he's a hundred and fifty nine dollars. Hundred fifty nine dollars, Don. It's cute. It's a blue crab. You get a free diploma with tuition, but here is the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the United States. Uh, right here, they got a Pepper Palace here. And the headquarters is actually located in the Great Smoky Mountains in Sevierville. Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Annie. So we're not here for a long time. We're only here for a few hours. So there's a lot we're going to miss. Uh, and But we're here pretty much to grab something to eat and do a little shopping, looking around, just seeing what's changed since the last time we were here. Of course, this place being so old, probably not much has changed. All the structures are made out of these condensed seashells. I think they call this like a shell coke. But this stuff here is remarkably strong. You'll find that in all the buildings and even um, uh, Castillo San Marco is actually made out of that. Well, it's here too. Um, Party like it's 1565. <laughs> that Scarlet O'Hare's is actually a really good place to eat. We normally eat there. Uh, there's actually a ghost. What's his name that, that hangs out there? <laughs> Anyways, he. We have a video in our library. Huh? Yeah, we do have a, actually a couple of videos <laughs> there. But well, Don wanted to show you the little bananas. <laughs> what do you What do you think about that? They're bananas. And we're here at the Fountain of Youth. Now, a funny scenario is, is Don. Back when you were in school, you had Third to... Third grade, I had to do a book report on Ponce de Leon. I remember that. Well, <laughs> today you're here where that all happened. You ready? I never thought I'd see the day. Okay, I'm let's, ready. let's do this. Let's do it. I got my ticket and I want to get younger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this actually takes you back when you were younger, when you did yeah. your book report on... It was like in the third grade, and I remember doing the book report on Ponce de Leon. Here we are. So we're going to live, well, your childhood. Yes. <laughs> so you already got younger. Yeah. And you didn't even get in there yet. No, we didn't get in there yet. Where are going? Okay, guys. So, yes, guys, we're here uh, at the Fountain of Youth, guys. Uh, I definitely need a a little youth. Oh, I'm starting oh, to. I'm getting goosebumps. What? Over there. Oh, you Birds. see birds. There's. There's peacocks over there. Look at them all. Okay, well, we'll make our way over. The world famous fountain of youth. Huh? Cups are right here, folks. You go and sample the water. That's not real busy. <laughs> uh, the fountain of youth, Don. It wasn't what I, I thought it was supposed to be like this sprawling like water fountain, right? Well, it started out. <laughs> it started out like that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's pumped up 240 feet. It's still the same minerals. Just a. Does it work? Yeah. Oh, all right. It's not overnight. I'm not. <laughs> all right, well. Youth, the Fountain of Youth, the spring was discovered in 1514 and was recorded in a landmark in a Spanish grant. All right, Don. Well, here you go. For. I'll take the middle one. You take the middle one, is there a difference? A little bit of each. A little bit of each. I think they come from the same well, huh? Well, Don thinks cold. you think it's one it, it's a <laughs> Can we get a cold? Alright. Can we drink it? I don't hear anything. Go ahead, you drink it. It smells weird. I downed it. How how is it? 
Alright, so here it is, guys. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> All right. Takes on the go, huh? So Dawn, now that you've tried the water from the Fountain of Youth, what do you think? I think I'm starting to look younger already. Are you? Yeah. The water was horrible tasting, know, guys. I a headache. I definitely would that opt for. It's working. <laughs> this globe portrays the epical events in the discovery, exploration, and colonization by Spaniards in the Western Hemisphere during the 16th century. Ponce de Leon. <laughs> so, Juan Ponce de Leon, born in Spain in 1460, governor of San Juan, now Puerto Rico. The first recorded sea voyage to what is now the United States of America. Don, what did, what did you find over here? Oh, they're they're peacocks. <laughs> well, hello. I guess the guys are the fancy ones, and this would be the lady here. Well, hello, uh, Miss Peacock, and how you guys doing? I think this one's trying to get a date. Are you trying to get a date over there? Oh, oh look at the beautiful blue one. Well, you drop, <laughs> drop half of it on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> They're not even going to let me. <laughs> They're not even going to let me. There's a squirrel up. behind you wants some. Hang on, let me get a picture of you and him. Hey. You didn't run your hand. Oh, look. Is he grab my hand, Will? <laughs> He's getting off guard. Look at this. Ah, I got my finger! He got gotcha. you? <laughs> Here comes the mail. Life in a Timucua village. And this is what the original um, natives would have lived like here. And they had these little like uh, thatched slash homes here. And just kind of basic. This here is an original mission church. Oh wow, this is what early church would look like. Actually, not too bad. I was thinking it would be a lot more primitive, but they're still digging up artifacts and they have a current uh, archeological study going on here. They're still finding like, um, 200 year old uh, pots and pans in other words right <laughs> and of course you can smell the bathrooms that? over there it doesn't smell real good right here um <laughs> <laughs> i think we're in for a storm the winds are starting to pick up the temperature has dropped i think this is gonna cut loose and i think we're gonna make our way to the gift shop 
enjoyed this. You enjoyed it? Fountain of Youth, yeah. Yeah, it was $36 for both of us kind to get of pricey, in here. but I think it was worth it. Uh, the Fountain of Youth, of course, you know, that's bragging rights, right? Like yeah. kissing the Blarney Stone or, or something. And the peacocks were just an added bonus. How beautiful. <laughs> and you get to feed that squirrel. <laughs> yeah, you come right up in my hand. It's like, give me that nut. Yeah. But <laughs> guys, that's going to do it for, well, St. Augustine, we had a blast. We were only here for a few hours. This city has a lot to offer. We didn't even scratch the surface. Of course, the very first wax museums here. There's a, uh, a, sh a shipwreck, a pirate gold museum. There's a lot to do. <laughs> Plus, you got the uh, uh, the Castillo San Marco, which we wanted to do, but there was like a four hour wait, and so we didn't get a chance to do that. We'll have to do that next time. We will definitely be back here shortly. But if you guys like this vlog, Give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming road trip adventures. Guys, we are on a road trip. We're going to Florida. We're looking at all the... We are in Florida. Well, we are in Florida. But um, we're, we're doing all kinds of crazy things in the next week. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. <laughs> there's, a, there's a tour over here, and they're staring at me. Uh, do this uh, little commentary here with you. But... <laughs>